Hello, Maritza. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Uh, I'm fine, thanks. <laughs> and you, teacher? I'm pretty well. Uh, are you ready? Uh, excellent. To finish finish uh, uh, the, the exam. <laughs> Yes, yes did you teacher. finish the exam? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. How was it? Um night 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 noventa. Ninety? Okay. <laughs> but how did mucho, you feel? me costó, me costó hacerlo. Ah, okay. Pero gracias a Dios terminé. All right, that's good. <laughs> Thanks, teacher. Okay, so today we're going to have a general practice. Okay, so we are going to have a review for everything that we check in this module. Okay? Okay, teacher. Good. So let's begin then. Hopefully somebody else will come. We're going to see. Okay, Maritza, so we begin with this activity, okay? I want you to think a person that you know very well, and I want you to describe this person. Tell me about his or her age, the name, the profession, the place where they are, and one adjective that you can use to describe this person. Okay, teacher. Um, and my together in this program, my together is called teacher. My what? And my my mi hija. Voy a describir a mi hija. Daughter. Daughter. Ah, uh, my daughter. And her name uh, is um. Julieta, the age in uh, the 24 years old. This is a profession, the nutrition, nutritionist. Nutritionist? Yes, nutritionist. In the practice in the hospital de San Bartolo. Okay, and one adjective that you can use to describe this person? The adjectives and the... Ahí me quedé, teacher. Okay, <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> Sorry. No problem. Okay, just before we continue with something else, can you remind me the structure for the verb to be in the simple present, Maritza? Simple present. And subject. Plus verb uh, be. Plus complement. Excellent. Can you give me one example with this structure? Julieta. Uh -huh. Julieta. Um, is an um, nutrition. Ah, okay. So now with this structure, I want you to give me the sense. Okay. For example, her name is Juliet. Yes. Okay, try again. But now try to use the verb to be when you use the the sense. Continue the other or or Andy. Yeah, we can continue with someone else. That's okay. Thank you, Maritza. Mm. Hello, Jesenia. Hello, good evening. Good evening, welcome. Mm. Okay, Thanks. Jesenia, 
Can you describe someone that you know very well? Um, name. Um, Joyce. Age. Um, 35 years old. Profession is nutrition. Uh, place. Um, hospital pro familia. Adjective, she is a beautiful girl. Okay, just remember, when we are giving the sentences, we have to make complete sentences. Okay, so you say her name is Pamela. She is 25 uh, years old. She's a doctor and she, um, she is at uh -huh. a hospital. Okay, so we focus your, on the structure. Don't forget the structure, okay? Your name is Joyce. Um, she, 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 have, uh, she, she has, pardon, she has um, 35 years old. She has she or she is? Um, she has. Porque no, no es, ella tiene, no, she is, es, mm -hmm. she is 35 years old. Your profession is um, nutrition, nutricionista, ¿cómo se dice? Nutritionist. Nutritionist. Uh, your place, your, is um, hospital pro familia. Um, and she is a beautiful girl, uh, very, very chill, very, um, very, very uh, beautiful girl, um, very job, job, trabajadora. She is a hard worker. She is, uh, she is a hard worker. Um, um, is a perfect mom. Uh, she has a, a son. Uh, um, your, your, your son is uh, five years old. Um, your husband um, uh, you, your name is um, uh, Rodolfo and are uh, and are uh, a beautiful family okay so just something, Yesenia, when we talk about someone else, okay? For example, when you use the expression your, that is for you. Your family, your friends, your mother, you. But when you talk about someone else, you cannot say your. For example, if you talk about a girl, you say her. Her name, her profession, her son, her husband. And if you are talking about the husband, you say his, um, his son, his family, his um, profession. Okay, so we have to change the pronoun. Okay, teacher. Okay, very good. Hello, Maricela. Hello, teacher. Good night. Good evening. Okay, um, can you describe someone that you know well, Maricela? Excuse me, teacher. Describe a person that you know well. <clears throat> Your name is Carolina. Mm -hmm. oh. She is 30 years old. Okay. Your profession is a doctor. Mm. I'm sorry. Give me a second. You are talking about Carolina, right? So your is not positive. 
uh, Carolina. Mm -hmm. Carolina is 30 years old. Carolina y eh, Carolina is a doctor. Carolina plays in galerías. Eh, Carolina is very, very good doctor, very, very good doctor. Okay. She is, eh, Carolina is a good doctor. Okay, excellent. Just something, when I was telling you to use her, I think maybe you didn't notice. But the thing is that you were telling me your name and it's not my name, it's her name, okay? Her name is Carolina. Her profession is a doctor. She is in galerias, okay? That is the place. So remember, your is only for you, okay? But if you talk about another person like Carolina, you don't say your, you say her. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Let's continue. Okay. Now, in the next part, I want you to describe the person as much as possible. Maritza, what does Sarah look like? I am look like um, five, uh, five ladies. Okay, but I'm talking about Sara. Only Sara. Uh, Sara uh, is a beautiful girl. And your hair is um, it's a red. Your or her? Mm. Your hair. No, your hair. Oh, hair, hair, hair. Hair? <laughs> her, her, hair. Her, her hair. Her hair. Her hair. Uh, her hair is her, uh, real or is the, in, her skin is uh, white? Uh, She's tall. She's tall. Uh, she is beautiful. Okay, excellent. Um, let me see, Jesenia. What does Lucia look like? Um, Lucia um, is um, is a Girl, very tall. Uh, is she is um red hair? Lucia brown, no brown, brown hair. So um, she is or she has. She is. She is. But no, you are talking she, about her hair. Oh, she has mm -hmm. a, a brown hair. Um, oh, his his expression is happy. Uh, Bill smile. Uh, Bill smile. Um, she is a beautiful girl. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Yesenia. Let's continue. Maricela, what does Jane look like? Jane. She is Jane. It, she is short. Short. 
a your hair is black she is a little eh, rellenita chubby heavy she is a, she is a little a little de cómo me dijo chubby 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 she is a little chubby eh, your eh, she she has a eh, twenty years old she is a model only okay um so you said she has 20 years old but she uh-huh she has 20 years 20 years old um uh, yeah but you cannot say has because you are talking about she, the age she is she is year, uh, 20 years old. She is, exactly. But something important here. We are talking about the physical appearance, okay? How the person looks like. So how do you know that she is 20? You cannot see that on the appearance, okay? So when we describe a person, we focus only on the physical, what you can see. But the age is not something that you can see. Is that yes. all right? Yes. Okay. Very good. All right. Let's continue. Um, let me see. Carla, what does, let me see, what does Karen look like? Karen looked and she is... Um, a little short, and she has she has black hair, and she is beautiful woman, and and she has very cute your hair, and is very thin. Okay, excellent. Uh, Francisco, what does Sam look like? Uh, hello, uh, Sam. Yes. Okay. Uh, she she has uh, hair short or short hair. Short hair. Short hair. She has short hair. She has pretty, sm pretty smile. Uh, she she I don't know. She has uh, mm, well, only hair and a smile. Okay, that's fine. No problem. Okay, let's continue. Um, let me see. Adela, what does Sara look like? Sara. Yes. Okay. Um, she has um, a straight hair. Um, she has um,
<laughs> uh, she, no, she's, uh, she's tall, uh, she's, um, she's uh, slim, uh, she has a uh, good smile, oh no, um, pretty, pretty small. Um, she has um, eyes, uh, green eyes, <laughs> green eyes, okay. Um, only teacher. Okay, excellent. Very good description. Let's continue. Okay, now think about your family, okay? And tell me what is your family doing now, okay? And I want you to describe as much as possible. Now, before we do this activity, I want you to remind me, what is the structure that we use for the present progress? Yesenia? Is um, subject. Uh -huh. um, um, verb B. Mm -hmm. uh, ING. No, only okay. ING or the verb in ING. Verb must ING. Mm -hmm. uh, Complement. Okay. So that is the structure that we follow. So you can answer the question, what is your family doing now? Okay, who would like to start? I, I teach. Okay, just any? Oh. oh. My family, um, my family are uh, two song, two children. Um, uh, the bigger is um, 25 years old and the uh, small is um, uh, 15, you no, 16 years old. Um, the 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 tire no the bigger uh, uh, is working in the bedroom your or his uh, um, his bedroom um he he is uh, working in call center, on call center. Um, the small uh, um, is um, eating uh, your, your dinner. Um, he uh, is in the shirt uh, every day at night. Um, after um, studying his class, um, you, you, his make your, your homework. Your or his? His homework. Um, after uh, playing the the game. Um, uh, the, 
um, <coughs> I'm sorry. At, at, to, at, uh, 11, 11 p.m. Sleep. Um, together. Okay. Solo eso, teacher. <laughs> All right. But, Yesenia, the question is, what are they doing now at this specific moment? What yes. is your older son doing right now? Right now, uh, uh, the bigger the is older work. one uh -huh. is working. He is working, mm. and the younger one, uh, he is dinner. He is eating dinner. Okay, that is the answer. What they are uh, doing now? See, si, just yes, now. Okay. Very good. Uh, okay. Maritza, what is your family doing now at this specific moment? My family are cooking right now, teacher. Okay, everybody is cooking? Uh, uh, right now, and um, uh, um, two person in the house, in my home. Okay, there are two people in your house. Two people cooking right now in my home. Okay, that's fine. Um, what about you, Carla? What is your family doing now? I watch I watching TV. You are watching TV? Yes. Oh, okay. And my children watching TV right now. <laughs> okay. My children watching. What is missing there? Mm, I don't understand. Okay, focus on this. This is the sentence that you are giving. My children watching. My children is the subject. Watching mm -hmm. is the verb in ing. So what is missing? And my children is watching. Mm, but children is plural. Yes, are my children are watching. Uh-huh. TV. Perfect. Now you got it. Okay, excellent. Uh, what about your family, Adela? My parents are sleeping. My sister is watching TV. Okay, cool. Francisco? Right now, my son is right in your cell phone writing in your cell phone my in daughter your or his uh, his okay and uh, my my daughter is in your bedroom is watching tv my other daughter is in your bedroom uh, in writing his her her wiring uh, in your cell phone. Your cell phone or her cell? Uh, excuse me, her her cell phone. Okay, so she is texting. That is the verb. Texting. Ah, uh, texting. Okay, yes. Okay. She is no texting. writing. Is texting. Uh -huh, because writing is when you have a pencil uh, if you write okay, or a pen. Okay, okay. It's texting. Okay. okay. So is texting in her cell phone. You got it. Excellent. Okay. Nice. And let me see. Who is missing? Maricela? Uh, uh, my, my children are studying in your room in your or there 
in their room. Okay. My my husband is watching TV. My father is sleeping in her room. Your father, right? Uh -huh, my father. In his. My father. Mm -hmm. my father uh, is sleeping in your room. In his. Yeah. His room. My father. My father is sleeping his your room. No, 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 no your. His. His room. His room. Remember, oh. your is for you. His is for he. His room. Uh, okay. My father is, le is sleeping his for room. His Only his room. He is sleeping uh, father, in his room. My father is sleeping his room. Excellent. You got it. Thank you, teacher. Okay, good. Very nice, everybody. Okay, let's continue with the next part. Okay. Now, in the next part, I want you to focus on the information for what are you going to do tomorrow and what would you like to do instead, okay? Now, before we begin, do you remember the structure for be going to, Carla? Mm. Be going to tomorrow. Wait, wait, wait. What is the structure for a big going? Be going. Yes. Uh -huh. What is the structure? I, I don't know. <laughs> you don't remember? Sorry. Okay, what is the first thing that you have in the structures? What is the first word? Subject. The subject, okay? So I need a subject. After the subject, what do I need? WH. Mm, not no, really. no. Verb. The verb, because it's the going to. Remember, be going. After that, <laughs> what is the word after B? Going to teacher. Going to. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the verb be going to and then? Verb. The verb in ing or in the base form? Verb. Verb. Other verb. In? No. In the base form. Base form. Okay. And then? Complement. The complement. Very good. Okay. So that is the structure for be going. Now, what is the structure for would like to? Wool. What do I need first? I need something first. Subject. Subject. Mm -hmm. Be. After the subject? Verb. No, in this case. Would like? Would like to. Like to. And after that? Would like to. Verb. Verb. The verb in the base form. And then? Complement. Complement. Excellent. Okay, so that, those are the structures that we are going to use. Okay, now here we have one example. I can say, um, let me see, tomorrow, oops, sorry. Oh, 
Okay, can you help me with this example, Francisco? Okay. Tomorrow I am going to work, but I would like to sleep all day. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is the idea. What are you going to do tomorrow? But what would you like to do? Okay, so this is my example. I am going to work, but I would like to sleep all day. So what about you? I would like to, to, to go to the beach all day. Okay. <laughs> nice. Jesenia? Um, tomorrow, I am going uh, to house, but I would like um, to party. Okay. <laughs> nice. Abela? Tomorrow I am cleaning the house, but I would like to watching watching movie all to day. Watch. Watch. Okay, great. Maricela? Uh, tomorrow I am going to work, but I would like to work all day. Okay. Carla? Tomorrow I going to do, do I want to work in the morning and I would like to go Chalatenango, maybe. <laughs> okay, that's nice. And Maritza? Tomorrow I am going to work, but I would like to go boy. Go, go to see, go to go. go to see all day. Okay, nice. We got it. Excellent, everybody. Okay, let's continue. Now, in this case, we have the structure for will. Do you remember this structure, Francisco? Uh, subject. Uh, uh, plus verb. Mm, not really. Okay, okay. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Um, subject. Ah. Uh, verb in future? No. Mm, no. This is not going to. This is will. Will. Okay. Uh, this weekend, what will you do this weekend? Uh, subject, uh, I am verbi. No. What is the auxiliary? Help me, help me, please help me. Will. Somebody will. help me. Will. 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 Okay. Okay. Remember, the question is with will. So the auxiliary is will. Okay, um, then after the wheel, the verb in the base form. Excellent. Last complement. Last complement. All right, so that is the structure. So now, using this structure, what will you do on the weekend? Adela? I will visit visit uh, my parents in law. Excellent. Yesenia? I will visit uh, my my mom. Excellent. Y soy a pango. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maricela? I will uh, I will go work 
to school my son. Okay. On the weekend? He goes to school on the weekend? Yes, but he, he has your uh, intramuros. Ah, okay. He has an academic event. Yes. Okay, got it. All right. Um, what about you, Francisco? I will go. Well, this weekend I will go uh, to the shores uh, on on Saturday and Sunday. Nice. Oh, that's amazing. What about you, Carla? I work all day in the afternoon, take care of my children. Mm, okay, <laughs> let's review that. Okay, this is the sentence that you tell, that you told. So what is missing in the sentence, Carla? Look at the, at the structure, what is missing? You have the subject, and you have the verb. So what is missing? Again, you have the subject and you have the verb. So what is missing? It will. Will. Okay, so can you say it again? I, I will work mm -hmm. all day mm -hmm. and, and in the afternoon take care of my children or I why you sick I will take care of my children. Excellent. Remember, if you are talking about the future, you need to use will. So I know that mm -hmm. in the future. Because okay. if you tell me I work, that is present. No okay. future. Okay, thank you. All right, very good. Let's continue. Um, let me see who's missing. And Maritza. I will work on the weekend. I okay. will rest in the afternoon. Ah, okay. So you will work in the morning. Yes. Yes, please. Okay. That's good. All right. We're almost there. Now, I want you to describe these pictures, okay? And I want you to use the expressions this, that, these, or those, okay? Choose only one picture and describe it to me using this expression. Now, before we describe, do you remember the structure for the demonstratives? Do you remember the structure or not? Demonstrative. Demonstrative. Uh -huh. Plus. Plus verb B. Uh -huh. um, Plus complement. complement. Excellent. So that is the structure. Okay. So based on this structure, try to describe one of the pictures. Okay. Jesenia, would you like to start? 
Only one picture. Um, this um, this cow. Hmm, this cow. This cow. This cow. What is missing? Um, excuse me, teacher. Okay. So if you tell me this cow, what is missing? Back. Cow is this. This is ah okay. A cow. Uh, this, this is cow. Is. Mm -hmm. This is cow. A cow. A cow. Uh -huh. Excellent. Don't forget the most of the verb and complete. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's continue. Next example, Adela. That is a hound. Good. Maricela? Uh, does a very eggs. Okay. Eggs? Egg. Eggs. Okay. Francisco? Eh, eh, do, doce, doce, dos, doce, doce, dos, eh, dos eh, are very, very fancy. Okay, good. Okay. Um, Carla? Um, and those, those, Maria Jose, those, the colors. Okay, those what? And those colors. But what is missing? The verb. And uh, those. Uh, uh, <laughs> what is the verb? Those are colors. Ah, okay, excellent. Okay, good. Next one, Maritza. That is a house. Awesome. You got it. Very good, everybody. Okay, and this is the last one for the night. So the only thing that you have to do is make one comparative sentence, only one. Do you remember the structure for the comparatives? Uh -huh. Do you remember? Subject, subject, uh -huh. plus verb, uh -huh. plus adjective, uh -huh. plus dang, excellent, and plus um, subject to. Perfect, you got it. Oh, yes. Subject, there we go. Okay. So now just make one comparative sentence. This is the last activity for today. Who would like to start? You can use some of the adjectives that you have. Here. Funny, funnier. All, all that. Fast, faster. Rich, richer. So select one adjective and make a sentence. Um, the the boy is funny, funny or funnier? No, funny, funnier, uh, uh, funnier than funny. No, than 
the boy. The other boy. Other boy, yes. Okay, excellent. Maritza? Um, the man? The what? The, the man. Oh, okay. The man is uh, older than 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 boy. The boy. Okay. Nice. Um, let me see, Adela. The car is the car is faster than the bicycle. Perfect. Francisco. Uh, I am uh, yeah, I am a uh, faster than uh, uh, my friends. Okay, cool. Maricela? Uh, he, he is faster than uh, slow. Uh, he is faster than what? I need another sub. He, he is faster than I I am uh, slow. No, no. I need another subject. Remember, you have one subject at the beginning and one subject at the end. For example, I am older than my sister. Another subject. Uh, so he is faster than? I am faster than... than my sister is my sister slow is slow no 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 don't say it's slow just I am faster than my sister just that uh, eh, I am faster than my sister okay perfect just that nothing else all right and we finish with Carla um, my father older that my cousin. Okay, what is missing, Carlo? <laughs> you say my father older. What is missing between father and older? Um, my father is older. Uh -huh. My father is older than my cousin. Excellent. You got it. Okay. Don't forget the verb to be, okay? Okay. <laughs> Very nice. Jennifer. Yes. It's Jennifer. Uh -huh. uh, may I say a few words? Sure. Tell me. Um, very grateful with you. Thank you very much for your teachings. Okay. You are an excellent teacher and person. Thank you very much. Thank you, it's, teacher. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much for being here in this module. It was a pleasure for me. Thanks. Wow. Very okay. happy. So that was it, everybody. Congratulations. You made it to the end. So if you still have any questions about any topic, you have my phone number so you can text me and I can help, okay? Thanks. Thank you, teacher. All Thank right. you, teacher. Enjoy Thank the weekend. Thank you so much, teacher. It was a pleasure. Thank Thanks. You. Good night, teacher. Good, Good night, night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night.